Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I'm here with another Star vs. the Forces of Evil theory video. Now, this theory video is going to be a little bit different from one of my other theory videos, or like a different kind of style, because this is a theory that we kind of came up with in our Discord. We were just shooting ideas off of each other, and that was pretty cool. Now before I get into this, let me just say big spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the new Season 4 promo. You can go watch that analysis video, I'll go leave the link in the description below if you're interested. Or if you just don't want to be spoiled, then don't watch this video. You have been warned, so just keep that in mind. And then I do want to give a shout out to the two people who joined me in this conversation, Lord Victorino and SSS. So thank you guys for shooting ideas off of each other and things like that for participating in this theory. And as always, if you want to participate in these conversations and theories, you can go ahead and join our Discord. This is where it takes place. This is a public Discord that you can join for free. You can create a Discord account, or if you already have one, you can do that. And the link's down in the description. As always, it's in the description of every video. So if you are interested in talking with other people, you can go ahead and do that. It's really fun. So now I'm going to be getting to the point where I'm talking about parts from the promo. In the promo, we see Moon and Star just that means that moon's back so this video is just kind of explaining where i think or where we think moon went so basically in the promo we see moon and star making cakes and then we see another guy just pop up and hit the pie now we don't exactly know who that person is but we kind of have an idea of who it might be we are thinking that that guy might either be Moon's father or somebody who related to Moon's father. Now for those of you who don't know, Moon's father is Lazalo Marlamade, and that's pretty much all we know about him. We do know that he was a chef because Moon's mother was a chef, so she married a chef, but then she got divorced really soon after, so we never really got to learn about her father. So this is interesting to see that we might learn about him in the future. Now, I'm just going to be going through the Discord, kind of reading off what we said, and then maybe explaining it a little bit better, depending on how well I explain it, just by reading it. So we basically just start off by asking who is this character, and things like that. So then I just got the thought, well, Star was teleported to her bed, because we were just kind of discussing about Moon being back. So I said, Star was teleported to her bed after she was teleported back from the Magic Dimension. What if Moon was teleported to the home that she grew up in, or someone else's like relative's house. I didn't say that, I just said the home that she grew up in. But just the same meaning is there, just as far as Moon being teleported to a family member or something like that. So I'd ask that, and then SSS said that that made a lot of sense, and I think it does too. So then Lord Victorino goes in and starts analyzing it like he does. He's super awesome. He has a channel, I'll leave the link down in the description actually, so you can go check that out. But he goes down and he says, that's right, Comet ran off and married the chef and had Moon before she became Queen. Now I know I haven't done Queen or Comet's chapter yet, I'm working on it guys. It does take a little while to make the Book of Spells chapters because I have to read the whole chapter and then write a big long script for it, so it takes a while to make those videos, but I will get to them eventually. Then Lord Victorino says, she might have come back to the castle after the chef left her. That may explain why he never showed up to Moon's wedding either. After Moon was born, Comet knew that her daughter was next in line to be queen someday, and did not want to make her decision to run off and marry a chef to take away her daughter's birthright. While her chef husband had no intention of wanting to be a king, he was a chef. While her chef husband had no intention of wanting to be a king, he was a chef, and so they got divorced. It might also explain why Moon was so involved in finding out the truth about Eclipse's daughter, since Comet and Moon were so close and Comet made a decision to have Moon raised as the next Queen of Muni versus staying with her chef husband. So Moon was teleported to the place she might have been born, not where she was necessarily raised to be the next Queen of Muni, which I think makes the most sense. Uh, I just say that's the theory we have so far. And Lord Victorino says, and it fits with what it says in Comet's section of the Magic Book of Spells. Nice connection. I just got done rereading the part of how she writes her final chapter about being the next Queen. And then SSS brings up, though he seems a bit young, I would expect Star's grandfather to look a little bit older. And then SSS suggests maybe the person is actually a part of Marmalade's family, but not necessarily him himself. And I agree with that. I do think that the guy looks a little young, and there's a possibility that 
Maybe he's the grandson of Moon's father. Probably not. He'd probably be the son of Moon's father. Or maybe it is just Lazalo himself. We don't exactly know a timeline of Star, so we don't know like how old Star is or how old Moon is and how long it takes for humans to age. There's just so much stuff that we don't know to where we can't pinpoint how old he is and just things like that because humans might end up aging like two times as slow. So maybe he is young and maybe he's still alive. That's the thing. We don't exactly know. So there's a possibility that this isn't Lazlo himself. And then Lord Victorino posts some pictures of the book and spells and says, It is implied that Comet had Moon before she came back to Muni, and calls her Princess Moon. Soon after having Moon, she got a little divorced. Blah 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 blah. I let you go, I let you go. I know I didn't say that right, don't get mad. Well, it doesn't say how old Comet was, but it's also implied that she might have been very young as well. And I agree, because this was her first year with the Book of Spells, or the first year of her era, from what I read in the Book of Spells. So then I said she probably wasn't queen for very long, and then obviously that's true because she was killed and things like that. So I kind of proved my point there, I shouldn't have said that, but uh, I just wasn't thinking about it too hard. And then Lord Victorino says, Well, it also seems more like they both had a parting of ways, more than Moon's father being a deadbeat dad. When Comet had Moon, everything changed. This would also explain how the Magic Book of Spells is like a season 3.5. It does have information that will link the past with the present. We just don't know what some of that is yet. Which has been confirmed. Darren did say that it was like pretty much season 3.5 and that it will have references to things that will be brought up in season 4 and things that just won't be referenced in the show in general. And then Lord Victorino says, We had the whole bonding thing with Moon and Star in the Realm of Magic. After that, if she was sent back to her birthplace, or maybe even her birth father, this might explain why she would not want to come back if she was found by her father, and there they would have time to bond as well. Or maybe Moon still does not know who she is, and her being at the Pi Festival is just by pure fate. And her father, who does not know who she is, wants to keep her with him. Maybe the Pi is to help bring back her memories of her mother and who she is, but I'm getting into pure speculation on the doorstep of fan fiction at this point, so I will leave it at that. And then I also mentioned when Star opened her eyes for the first time, she was looking at River. And then Lord Victorino says, Star was awoken by River, she was still asleep at the time. What if Moon was woken from her dad? Which would be ironic, Moon never knew her dad, unlike Star knowing her dad, River. And then he just goes into some other things about the promo, but that's not the focus of this video. So as you can see, we really talked about a nice fully fledged theory. When Moon got teleported from the magic dimension, she either got teleported to one of two places. Either A, her current place of her where her father lives, or B, the place that she was born or the place that she kind of lived in, obviously, until Comet took her back to the castle. Now I'm thinking the way that the teleport worked is it teleported you back to a place near your family members or something like that. Now the reason for this is because I'm more on the side that Lazalo is not the person in the promo and that's somebody else that's a part of her family. However, I do think that Lazalo being a chef, that that area or that house or wherever, their bakery, I do think that that was passed down from generations just because that seems like something that would happen. Especially when Muni is kind of taking place, it's kind of a more medieval thing, and that was that occurred a lot when families kept the same business going. So my guess is, is she got teleported there to where she was either born or where she was kind of raised, obviously before Comet took her back, and just things like that. Or it could have just been because their family members were there. We don't exactly know that that's where the speculation and what you guys think comes in. But my personal opinion is that that bakery, or wherever it was, I'm thinking it's a bakery, I, I think that that was passed down for many generations. Now that doesn't explain why the whole festival is going on in the Kingdom of Muni and things like that. I'm thinking that Lazalo lives not too far outside of just the general Kingdom of Muni. And I also believe that Chef Lazalo, or their family, business, or whatever it is, I think that that's like the bakery that supplies Muni with all their pies, because that just makes the most sense to me. 
if they're baking pies, they have their own bakery, and that's why Moon was teleported there. So Star went there either to pick up pies or to look for Moon, either one. I'm guessing that what will happen is Star will just stumble across her, that's just my guess. But I think that the Marlemade family is going to be supplying pies for the Moon Independence Day festival, or at least that's what our guess is on what that like pie day is. So Star just goes there, and she finds Moon there, and then she starts helping make pies and bonding with her mother. So that's my guess on how that all worked and how Moon got teleported and where she got teleported. She got teleported to a previous either home or to previous family members, similar to the way Star was. So that's our ideas. Again, thanks to Lord Victorino and SSS for helping us piece together. It was a team effort for this theory, even though Lord Victorino seemed to pull in more weight as far as the research goes. He was just on it because he was already doing things as far as the promo is concerned. So props to you. Leave the link to his channel down in the description for you to check out. But that's really going to be it for this video. What are your thoughts? Let us know down in the comment section down below if you agree with this theory or if you have more evidence or things that go against it. Everything like that. But that's going to be it for me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. It's amazing!